Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play in Hearts of Iron 4. What is this Let's Play? Well, uh, you might can probably tell by the name of the video, but there is a zombie invasion happening right now in the world, in southern Spain, down here, and also in the Middle East. There are two areas where the zombie horde has basically spawned in. Apparently their capital is up here in Iraq, but that's fine. So, yeah, they're going to be here. I think they're not at war with us currently. They're at war with all their neighbors, though. They are fascists. Can we invite them to our faction? World tension negative 1,000. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I don't think the zombies are ever going to join our join the Axis. But uh, the reason I cho chose Germany, I was originally going to play as United Kingdom, but the problem with being in the, as the UK is that you're just kind of on an island, and the zombies take over all of Europe, then you got to kind of invade it. And, you know... The actual engagement with the zombies is going to take a little bit too long. So I'll be in Germany. You know, we're, we're a strong nation. The zombies might come from, you know, both sides. They are at war with, like, Turkey and stuff, right? Okay. So they're not at war with France, even though they do border France. So we'll see about that. And, yeah, we'll basically get uh, started right away. So we have some research slots. And because we're going to have to fight the zombies. If we're going, if we're going to have to fight the zombies, we got to do it. Well, it, it changes what we need to prioritize. Because we want to get basically all of the infantry weapons and stuff like that. I don't imagine the zombies have an air force. They have a lot of boats. They have a lot of convoys, but I'm pretty sure that's just so they can actually, uh, navally invade stuff. They have a war economy limit, export, volunteer only. But what, what, what do they have? They have a leash power, division organization plus 900%, division recovery rate plus 900%. Supply consumption minus 300% and AI modifier focus on offensive, so I'm pretty sure they will always declare war on everybody else. Uh, Soviets, Polish, and French alike. We apparently don't have a big issue with the zombie invasion, so that's good. Yeah, so they'll kind of attack. They have somewhere between 419 and 795 brigades, which is a lot. So I don't know how well we're actually going to fare off against the zombie invasion. I'm hoping we do pretty alright. But we'll see. Your no division basic training, we'll fix that in a second. So, first things first, national focus. We want to get rid of the Rhineland. So, we want to be able to occupy this territory again. Uh, we have some free military factories because you are Germany, you just get a stupid amount of factories. So, let's make this, make support equipment, artillery. Uh, we don't really need boats and stuff. Like, that's not really the most important thing. Really, what we're doing is that we want to just border the hell out of our nation. So what we want to do really is just build forts all along the border. Instead of even building military factories, I think just having forts so that we can actually defend our country probably makes more sense. How many how many factories do we civilian factories do we have? We have 32, which isn't a lot. But we're basically we're going to abandon, abandon Prussia because Prussia doesn't matter so much. Uh, we might even just abandon the Rhineland. Honestly. We'll hide behind this river here. Hide behind the rivers. Yeah, don't build over here. Because I kind of... If we stand behind the rivers, we'll be a little bit more defended. What we could do is we could... Theoretically just abandon this side of... Bavaria and only build stuff on this side of the river. And you know what? That might actually be better. So basically, we'll abandon this side. Build factories over along the river here. Uh, over here, we can also do the same thing. We might, we'll probably lose factories at some point, but you know, factories I don't think matter too much. Yeah, like that. So we'll abandon this area, we'll abandon this area, and Prussia will also be abandoned. And once we're done over here, we'll go along the Rhineland. And in fact, if we're going to do that, we might actually just want to invade uh, the Netherlands. Just so we can have the rest of the Rhine here under our control. Oh, yeah, okay, so that that's fine. Uh, select these troops down here, put them into an army, just have them be on a garrison line, basically, along the river here. So you guys stand there. Uh, you guys over here, we're going to want to put you into a new army. We're going to have you have a fallback line. I guess around Czechoslovakia. Like that. Uh, why is this not uh, connected properly? Oh, because it went through. There we go. 
All of you just get on that line. Uh, all of my soldiers over here, because you're part of the Blue Army, right? Okay. I want you guys to have a fallback line. Not a front line, because front lines don't really matter so much. But you guys are going to have a fallback line basically to be right there. So that should be fine. Uh, we'll assign some generals here, because we have, we're Germany, we have a lot of generals. I don't know how long it's going to take for this to, you know, the zombies to actually reach us. It might take, it might take a few years. Uh, free dockyards, we will start making... I think we just want to abandon all of this stuff and just make convoys. Yep, so let's make convoys here. Do we really need air support? I don't really know. I don't know if the zombies can build planes. I'm assuming they can because they're just... They're technically just a... a like, another country. I don't know if they, they're forbidden to build planes. But there we go, okay. So we need oil, get it from the United States. Don't... Like, we could theoretically trade from the, the zombies, but... I think we're just going to kind of ignore that. And sadly, we're not able to, like, ally with the... the ally with the British. Because if we ally with... We can't ally with the British because they're technically in different factions. Oh, actually, there are no factions. Are we even allowed to make factions? World tension negative a thousand. Okay, so you can't actually even have factions. In the zombie mod. Okay, well, fair enough. So, technically, we're not allowed to ally with anybody. So, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, does it, if we're allied or not. So, we can edit our infantry. We have these infantry here. We can add some... Anti-air seems meaningless. Recon company could be useful. So, let's get a recon company here. We have a bunch of infantry. We'll put, like, a handful of artillery in there. Save that. Train up a few infantry, just have them basically deploy in Brandenburg. Train up a few tanks, put them in Brandenburg, and the SS divisions, add them in Brandenburg. Uh, these are Mountaineers, these are cavalry, I don't know if they'll really be that useful. And we need even more oil. So let's get more of you, let's get even more rubber. Okay, wait. Okay, no, there we go, we're fine now. Yeah, so these guys will all deploy. Hopefully the French will declare war on us right away for the Rhineland, because they theoretically could. They could just do it if they wanted to. Actually, the French are actually completely leaving. Are they at war? They're not at war with the zombies, but they did just completely abandon the Rhineland, so... I guess that's fine. And how long do land forts take to build? Well, we did set them both to, like, level 10. Only 101 days, actually, for each one. Oh. For five. Well, let's lower it to five. I think probably having it be like 10 is probably a bit much, so let's just kind of lower some of these down to five. So each one will take about 100 days. Uh, we want to basically get into the war economy as soon as possible. We need more uh, world tension, and there's not really anything we can do to increase that. We can invade other nations, but I don't know if I really want to spend my manpower doing so. Yeah, you guys just leave Prussia. It, it's worthless territory. Uh, we probably want to get our Air Force organized as well. So let's just have all of our planes go to this airport. And is that... No, we have more... No, we don't, don't have any planes. There are planes over here. Yeah, so you guys all fly over there. And when, okay, so they've all arrived, have all of our fighters combine, have all the tactical bombers combine, even have more tactical bombers, close air support. Uh, well, do we even need to do that? If I just have it so that we can just go here, increase this, increase this, increase bombers. Transports don't matter, therefore paratroopers and naval bombers don't matter because the zombies, well, they do have boats, so maybe, the, maybe they do matter. We shall see. But yeah, we only have, what, like, third? We have 30 divisions right now. Uh, significantly less than what the zombies have. The British are making a push in here. The zombies are pushing their way into Iran. And I don't know if they just automatically declare war on every country that they uh, border. We'll see. Yeah, I'm surprised that the French aren't at war with them. I would, you know, I thought they would be, but apparently not. 
And actually, because there is no factions, we can really just declare war on anybody that we want and wouldn't actually make a difference. Uh, oh no, it'll take 2,500 days. Never mind, we can't invade anybody. Okay, so the only way we can invade people is through just doing this stuff. And that is fine. That is a lot of, that's a lot of troops. Like, how many troops does, like, the Soviets have? Or China? Japan? Yeah, Soviet Union, China, Japan all have, like, a third of the zombie invasion, so... I don't know how well this is going to work out. It might be, like, a five-part series. Also, a lot of people are actually just, uh, not aligned. Like, uh, Romania's not aligned. Interesting. Is there anybody else who's not aligned so we can actually see some country names that you probably normally would not see? Um, no, other than... Nah, other than Romania, it doesn't look like anybody else is unaligned. That wouldn't be normally. Also, are they invading, uh, Portugal? Yes, they are. We have no intel on this combat. Well, that sucks. And we can't really do anything. We can't... Uh, we can't put troops over there. Uh, we can't, like, help reinforce the zombie invasion. Or reinforce against the zombie invasion, I guess. So we're just gonna have to basically sit here, deploy our troops, do it, like... Wondering if we should even wait until they're not green to deploy and just having more brigades would just be better. You guys are fine here. These guys eventually, their fallback line will also include here. I just gonna delete this. Okay, so I want to edit you. And yeah, have you kind of go up and around here. So that's you. You can't enter this territory quite yet, but at some point you will be able to, and that'll be good for us. And are you guys actually building the forts? I mean, they should be. You've only got two levels done. Each level of fort takes how long? Well, it takes... it's 1300. Actually, do, I want to get the political guy. There's a political guy that lets us 20%. We want to get this guy right away. Because I, I think just having a force is better than just having more factories. So we can get a nice defensive bonus. And I believe they are reinforcing this line first. Some of the areas... Well, I imagine they're going to completely surround our country at some point. Actually, this, it looks like the zombies are actually losing in Spain. Which is kind of surprising. Maybe most of the army is over here. And it looks like that might be the case. Yeah, they are pushing their way into uh, Africa. Okay, so there we go. We've remilitarized the Rhineland. What else can we get? Anti-com intern pack. Like, that doesn't matter. Oshilis. The only reason I would want Oshilis is so that we can just integrate these uh, 6 to 12 brigades into our army. Like, I don't really care about defending this land. So, you can get more infrastructure. Army innovation sound like that would be, like, really useful. Is there anything else that just naval rearmament meaningless? Yeah, I think maybe army innovations would actually work the best. No, okay, no, West Wall. And civilian fact, no, okay, there's not even a question. It's, it's that tree that we need. And actually, if that's going to put... Level 12 forts in all of these provinces. Is it level 12? That's 12 land forts. It only goes up to level 10, so maybe it's just going to go past the limit. I guess that's fine. A little bit weird, but if they want to. So modified government, we want to get the fortification. Oh, we have West Wall. Well, when we get West Wall. Oh, that's actually going to take 140 days. And actually, we have a ton of points, so we can actually do anything else. Military, Captain of Industry, War Industrialist. These guys' faces are blacked out for some reason. But Hitler's is not, so for some reason it's like using a German version of the game, I don't know why. Great impact. None of these guys, I want like... Where's the defense guy? We have an offense, but we don't have a defense. I don't know why. Where's the infantry expert? I like that guy. Infantry expert, yeah, let's get him. 
Because I always, I feel like he's just always worth it, no matter what. Okay, so... Just keep adding more. No, we can't, okay, we can't deploy more guys than this. And how many, do we have, like, the artillery and stuff? I'm assuming total artillery, we need a lot of infantry equipment, we need a lot of... We also modify our government again. Uh, where's infantry stuff? Infantry research minus 10%. Recovery rate sounds good. So let's get him as well. Yeah, and the zombies have already almost basically taken over Iran. They haven't attacked the Soviet Union yet. So I don't know what exactly determines when the zombies will actually attack other nations. And there we go. Okay, Iran's gone. We got research finished. So let's see. We can get more research time. Sounds good. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. So there we go. Uh, by April, four months, one nation has already fallen to the zombie horde. Other than, you know, like, Saudi Arabia and Oman and stuff. But yeah, look, the Spanish have actually done a very good job pushing the zombies out of Spain. I thought they actually would have... Would have just failed outright, but how many troops does Spain have? 11 to 14. Maybe a lot of zombies just didn't spawn in this area. I'm not too sure. And Spain's screwed. Once, this, once Spain has a civil war... They are, they're not going to have a good time with that. Yeah, so right now the zombies are only attacking the UK, Spain, Portugal, and Turkey. Declare war on Nepal. And Poland. It, it, that seems like a weird choice to me, but okay. And can, can they train more troops? They do have planes now, so now the zombies do know how to fly. Goddamn flying zombies. And they, they don't even have their own unique tree, which is kind of sad. They just go by this tree. So yeah, because they're fascist, they can get more. They can get more recruitable population, which is crazy. I don't know what the population is right now. They do have a lot of brigades, and I'm imagining most of their army is actually in here because if they're losing over here. Like, there's no way if Spain only has like 11 brigades. Like that doesn't make too much sense to me. Almost all their army has to be in the Middle East. And you are almost done. There you go. There you go, Italy. A hundred percent. Oh, because they declared so many wars. Okay. But we still can't do faction. Because we're not allowed to. Actually, that's one of the interesting things, because Germany, I don't think, will ever get... There's nothing in here to let them create factions. So, interestingly enough, I think, like, other countries would be able to create factions easier, just because, like, Romania, for example. If you do... This one, you can just create factions. So, other nations could create factions before we could. What we actually might want to try, then, is to go with the alliance with the USSR. Oh, the Soviets aren't at peace, so never mind, because the zombies are attacking them, we can't make an alliance. And I guess that's okay. So we got about a week left until that's finished. Yeah, so the zombies... Like, how close is... Because these are, I'm pretty sure, all technically, yeah, they're all technically different wars. Uh, where's Turkey? How close is Turkey to capitulating? It controls 69% of its victory points. It controls 90. So I think they might fall soon. I won't get a West Wall because I want that guy to have faster construction speeds. Okay, so yeah, they lost these points. Okay. 5 victory points, 5, 1, 10. Because they technically controlled all that. And their capital's only worth one. I think the zombies could capitulate, actually, like, really easily. If you just, like, invaded them in, like, Palestine or something. But these don't get, like, turned into core states. It'd be nice if they actually could turn it just straight into core states, so then it'd be harder and harder to kill the zombie horde. Well, it's 30, it's 36 right now. We can't really afford, like, 415 days. It's just too long to get that stuff done. 
So let's get concentrated industry. Uh, also, have another stuff. Okay. Uh, machine tools. 214 days it's ahead of time right now, so maybe we won't do that. Let's get a reinforcement rate increase as well. Okay, but I do think that's going to be the end of this first episode. So if you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.